flashback. It's an intro to electronics class, whether junior high, high school, college, whatever. And you came across this right here. The dreaded resistor cube. 12 resistors soldered in a cube. And your instructor gets to pick out two points for you to find resistance between. And there's three possibilities for each way. Well, we're going to turn it into a PC board to send off to our STEM students. That's what's up for today. So here's our circuit. Just using eight LEDs here. They're all 1K. And you can see how they're connected together. Nothing special going on here. There's our circuit board. Let's put a little instruction on there. Solve for the resistance between two of the J points. Selected by the instructor, then measure with a DMM. And then finally, we have a bit of a 3D view again. Just simple. It's probably the easiest board ever put together, designed, you know. Nothing to it, really. Okay. So I'm going to have to get these ordered then. I'm ordering my boards from PCB Way. Not just because they sponsor my videos, because they do excellent work. And it's just simple to order your boards. Click on Instant Quote. Quick order PCB. Add Gerber. Then you're going to add your Gerber. Yeah, where did I put that? One moment, please. There it is. My old eyes were not registering. So there we have a rendering of our board. How many do we want? Five will be just fine. Two layer. Even one layer will be just fine. Uh, these boards go red with white on them. If they have extra gold, they'll plate yours in gold while they're doing it. And then all we have to do is ship them off. And here are the boards. Beautiful workmanship, as always, from PCB Way. So I've got eight. 1K resistors to get going in this board and by golly that's what we're going to do so I'm filming this on Wednesday night and you know normally you see my videos on Wednesday but it's that time of year and for both me and my son once in a lifetime where he's graduating from high school and there's just stuff going on almost every day so it's been a busy week in fact tomorrow is the senior assembly I'm going to give out awards I don't know if you got any or not. And then, I think, believe it's next Saturday, is graduation. But he was done with school as of yesterday. Next stop, University of Pittsburgh. He'll be heading there in the fall. Assuming he survives uh, the summer, he's going back to working at the municipal swimming pool, which is not a bad job. I did it when I was in high school. Great opportunity to talk to people and network and, you know, 
meet girls. Although he has a girlfriend. So, that'll be his summer. That and getting ready to go to off to school. We just recently completed all of his housing and meal paperwork. All right, so we'll get all those resistors soldered in first. All right. I should probably put this in a little soldering vise or something, but just kind of being lazy here tonight right now I'm waiting for Blake to get here my son coming from his mother's house so I figure we knocked this video out which again I apologize you should have had it this morning but the universe has once again conspired against me. Usually I have stuff done in advance for just such an occasion. But uh, I haven't really lately been on the ball like that lately. They're coming out the day I make them. I don't know if I'm slowing down or not feeling as well as I used to or whatever, but... Definitely slowing down a bit. As long as I can still solder, though, we're all right. <laughs> I think we're about done with the resistors. Yep. Two more over here. What's nice about this is... The resistors and the test points are different shapes. See, the resistors are circular, and those test points are square. So as long as you do all the circles or all the squares, you're good to go. All right, well, <clears throat> what we got to do now is put in our test points. And I'm going to use some blue tack to hold them in place while I solder them up. Then we can test it out. Make sure it works, although there's nothing to power here. There's no real circuit. It's simply resistance, so... As long as you know physics hasn't changed, we should we should be okay. Uh oh, <laughs> a little too overzealous with the application of pressure there. No worries though, we'll get it done. So who uh who here's got summer plans? Vacations and whatnot. My summer plans are getting kid off to college. <laughs> He fell over again. So, for his graduation gift, he wants a laptop for school. Well, no problem. What do you want? P 
PC or a Mac. He wants a Mac, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not looking too hinky here. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let me get a meter. Okay. We're set up for resistance. Let's say between points J1 and J2. fell off try that again yeah yep so it's working good now this was all made with 1k resistors I might make another one with maybe oh my God, a lot of 3.3k Something like that. Then I'll make another one. Will be the ultimate, the boss board. They'll have different value resistors in them. So, what do you guys think? I've received some criticism on my boards, and I've always said I'm no PC board designer. But uh, to the persons that keep criticizing, say, why would I give these to these children? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That is a perfectly good way to learn about solving resistor cubes and Kirchhoff's laws and all that kind of stuff. And we never had anything like this when I took these classes. We did it on a piece of paper. And for a kid to be able to, to learn the formula, apply it, and then test it with a multimeter and actually see it in action, we've done three steps there to learning. And that's going to reinforce it better than just doing it on a piece of paper. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you think? All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.